My name is Al Ackerman and welcome to the channel. If you like card magic, you're in the right place. If you love sleight of hand, make sure you click on subscribe. Now back in 1977, Paul Harris, Louis Simonoff, and myself worked on a routine called the Interlace Vanish. We published it that year uh, in Apocalypse Magazine. And then uh, about 1980, I came up with another handle. I called it another Interlace Vanish. And that's what this routine is. Let's take a look. We are going to do something with the four kings, four aces. Plus, we need one selected card. So, cards are shuffled, and you ask the spectator to cut the cards. So, they can cut anywhere. You say, we'll go ahead and use the card that you just cut to. In this case, that'll be the seven of spades. Now, I happen to have our four, four kings over here, and over here on the table, we have our aces, four suits in the deck, heart, there's the club, there's the diamond, and the spade. So here's what we're going to do with uh, these aces and kings. All right, we are going to uh, sandwich each one of these aces in between our kings. All right, so first ace goes right there. Our ace of spades goes right there between our next pair of kings. And then we put this guy between the next pair, and the last ace goes right on top. So we have this eight card sandwich. So if I turn the cards over this way, uh, we happen to have the aces come into view. Now if I turn them over the other way, then the kings come into view. So that's the idea. Now besides these eight, we are also going to be using your selected card. So you remember the value. Don't let it go out of your mind for a second here. Seven of spades. Do not forget that card. Matter of fact, we'll mark the card with the poker chip. So seven of spades goes right under the poker chip. Now I have over here eight cards. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Every other card is a face of king. Every other card is a face uh, down a. So you get to name either the face up kings or the face down aces. You want the face down aces? Watch those aces that fast. They're gone. They vanish. Now we are going to go on a quest for our missing aces here. So I'm just going to give these cards a quick shuffle and cut. So I get mixed up and I have the spectator name any card they see. So let's say they name that lucky seven of clubs. So do not take your eye off of that seven of clubs. Just give the cards a shake. Hey, <laughs> it turns into the ace of clubs. That's just one ace right there. What's that ace of clubs? Just a snap. And now I've got two, a tap on the sleeve. Now we have a heart, a club, and a diamond, and we're missing one, the spade, and just a tap on the table. We've got our spade, but it's not the ace of spades. No, this is the card that you cut to. The seven of spades, our lucky seven. What's underneath the poker chip now? There's our ace of spades. Hey, if you like the effect, Give it a thumbs up. Now, back in uh, 1977, I had a part-time job while I was working on my master's degree in mathematics. And I had three 10-hour shifts on a graveyard shift. And so a lot of times it wasn't very busy. So I would often have local magicians stop by. And if it wasn't a busy night, hey, we would do card tricks and work on card tricks. So one night, Paul Harris and uh, Louis Simonoff uh, dropped by, and it was been 1977. And uh, Paul said, let's work on a vanishing ace effect. And then he said, do I have any IDs on it? And I had a couple of vanishing aces uh, effects already in print. And uh, I had one that I was working on. I called it the inversion of the collector. So it was going to be collectors kind of backwards. And I had a nice count that got rid of all the uh, four aces between the kings. And uh, I said, I've got an ending, but I don't have an, a beginning. 
And Louis Simonoff was sitting there and he thought of a way to get into the intro uh, perfectly, which I still use today. And the very next day, then Paul had a version, and I had a version. Paul's version used three selected cards, and he sent that into Apocalypse right away with joint credit to himself, Louis, and me. And then my version, like I said, was four kings and four aces, and I vanished the four aces. And then at the end, I would rapidly produce the four aces. Well, this particular handle uh, arose from my first session I had with Mike Powers in 1980. And uh, he suggested, I did the routine for him, that I get an extra little kicker on the end of my four ace production by doing a transposition of the last ace in a selected card. So I went home and worked out this particular handle. That would have been in 1980. And that, this routine has not changed much since that time. Anyway, this is going to be in uh, the new book. It's called Another Interlace Vanish, so it's in volume one of all in. Now, if you like Ace Vanishes, you might want to click on that link right over there. I uh, had a routine called The Vanishing Aces in Las Vegas Cardina, which is still fun to do. And uh, it really does help me out if you click on that subscribe button right over there. My name's Al Ackerman, and I hope to catch you the next time.